Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Yasharal, Yahuda, grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, we're at this again. We are here to serve the Most High. Listening to none other than Hezekiah. Song is entitled The Most High. And I don't own the rights to this music. We are called to be a watchman. Yahuwah has decreed unto me that you are to be a watchman. You are to be a guardian. You are to be an avenger. You are to be that one that redeems, right? You are called to deliver this word to the nation of Yasharal and to the, the nation of Yasharal and Yahuda and to the grafted in Gentiles to those who are of the other nations that will receive the witness. He has mandated me that I preach this witness, that I declare his word and the necessity of you having to receive the witness of Yahuwah, the witness of Yahusha, the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. Yahuwah, you have mandated me to preach this Basora. You have mandated me to declare this Torah. Yahusha Hamashiach's witness. Declare that he not only died, but that he is risen. And because he is risen, he has made allocation for us to receive this life, this eternal life that comes as a result of being established in this witness, having received the word, the Torah, the Basora made flesh in Emunah, having by doing this received the Ruach HaKadosh, which gives us everything we need in this day, this hour, to get whatever Yahuwah needs for us to do done. You who I pray that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, that I would not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, you have called me to declare the word of the witness of Yahusha Hamashiach. You told me to be instant, in season and out of season, in whatever state or position or condition I'm in continue to preach the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh's necessity to be an integral part in our lives, to receive it in order to establish our DNA in this final hours that you are beginning to move supernaturally. Yahuwah, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in thy sight. And Yahuwah, I pray that the word that you have given me to give to them, they would receive it in Emunah, that they would be established in it in Emunah, that this word would quicken, make alive in Emunah. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray, receive this offering in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, Yahushua Mashiach, I pray. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, again, we've listened to Hezekiah. Hezekiah, the song is entitled The Most High, and I don't own the rights to this music. We do this for the Most High, right? This witness is preached through me because... I'm going to do what the Most High tells me to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do what the Most High tells me to do. 
I'm going to speak a word. I'm going to declare a word that the Most High has told me to. I'm not going to deviate from the message of the witness. I'm not going to deviate. From the message of receiving the Ruach HaKadosh, everything that I say will point in that direction because that's what you would call me to preach. This morning I woke up and Yahuwah hasn't waken me up in a couple of days and actually yesterday I didn't go in because, you know, I had, I had actually went out and and because uh, I go in at a certain time, I went out and went riding and did my six plus miles on my bike, my pedal bike and got home. And, you know, I did some work on the truck and got up under the truck and, you know, I starting to feel kind of lightheaded because it's hot out. It was it's hot out here in Florida, working under a truck outside. It's, 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 it's tough. So, you know, I, I was I was feeling tired. I was feeling drained. Right, and I, and I fast, you know, I always fast. I mean, I fast every day. Sometimes I fast uh, till one or two. Sometimes I fast to six or wow, seven maybe. It all depends, but I, I fast. I'm fasting is a regular part of my day. Like, well, you know, I rode my bike, you know, and I have drink water. You know, I have this, this, this water, right? It's, it's, uh lemon lime i cut up lemons i come up limes i cut up cucumbers and i cut up ginger and i have this and i you know i drink it drink it throughout the day you know i sip on it you know so yesterday i came in you know and man you know i was sweating like you wouldn't believe and uh, i said well let me get a shower so i took a nice cold shower got out sat down was feeling like tired the most high told me he said listen i need you to get up and get something to eat and i need you to not go in i need you to relax right rest right because obviously you know you know i'm almost 60 years old you know i exerted myself actually i'm 60 i think i am 60 yeah i'm 60 anyway no i'm 59 whatever so anyway i had i had overexerted myself he said no don't right so i didn't go in right but this morning i woke up early he woke me up like about four -ish maybe and i get her and i'm praying and praying and i'm praying and he hasn't waking me up in a few days you know, so I, I, I was praying, I was praying. I was like, you, you know, I just want to continue to do what pleases you. I want to do what's, what's righteous in your eyes. I do not want to deviate. I do not want to um, be led astray. I do not want to be um, misguided. I don't want to do it. You, I want what you want from me i want to preach what you want me to preach and you know i go on and i'm praying in the ruach and i'm praying with my understanding and i'm, I'm praying for people i'm praying for those who listen to these youtubes i'm i'm praying that yahuwah would move i'm praying for people that that um that i, I i've told that i would pray for them and i'm, I'm just i'm just praying right I'm praying and then I come into my study and you said, I want you to sit down and read the word. I'm like, okay. So I sat down, I read the word and, and, and I opened up to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Right. And as I was reading Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, Yahuwah was saying some things to Ezekiel that I want to share with you concerning me and what Yahuwah has called me to do. Yahuwah says in that 33rd chapter, again, the word of Yahuwah 
came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, speak unto the children of your people. Yasharal Yahudah, because you know, you know. The Basora of truth, right? The Torah, the message that Yahuwah has called me to bring to you is to wake up Yaakov and Yahudah. Yahuwah told me, said, listen, I want you to wake up Yaakov and Yahudah. I want you to declare your, the word of Yahuwah to your people. All right, so, so he says, Adam, speak unto the children of your people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, right? right? Because see that watchman has been appointed, right, by the people to bring a warning in the in the in the in the midst of an impending assault that is going to occur on the nation right so just of the man select one from amongst the people right to establish as a watchman see now Yahuwah has called me to be a guardian he's a guardian of his Torah. I am a Gaal. I am a kinsman redeemer. I am an avenger. I stand in the place of 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 watching, right? So that when the time comes, right, 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 right the word, the warning, the blow of the shofar right that it would go forth and cause the people of yahuwah to be warned you you, you must receive the witness yeah. you must receive the ruach i can tell you yahuwah told me brought me to ezekiel the 33rd chapter and he told me to read you know I'm concerned for the nation. I'm concerned for Yasharal and Yahuda. I'm concerned for the erroneousness of the things that are recurring amongst the people in this whole idea of the awakening, right? I'm concerned about the people, about the nation that are so-called awake but aren't quick that aren't made alive, right? Right, 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 right? They identify with the people. They identify with the place. They identify with, 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 with an allure, right? But they have not been quickened. They're, they're yet in their sins. They don't believe that Hamashiach has come. They don't believe, some of them, that Hamashiach is risen from the dead. They they don't receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You listen. You 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 got to warn them. You have to tell them that the necessity that exists in them having to receive the witness. The water, the blood, and the ruach. See, so you can't separate these three. You can't say that, you know what, I have the blood, but I don't need to be baptized. I have the blood, but I don't need the ruach. I could death. I have the water, but I, you know, I've, I, I, you know, I believe I've received the blood, but you continue in sin, so you really haven't received the blood, right? So you got to have all three of these working in you. Who was told Ezekiel? Set for their watchmen, if when he sees. The sword come upon the land and blows not the shofar. Ah! Ah! 
Now, hear the word of Yahuwah, Yasharal and Yahuda, right? The shofar is blown. The watchman has a word for you, a warning for you that you must receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach and be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. He said, listen, if when he sees The sword coming upon the land. See, I, I see the destruction that's coming upon Yasharal first. I witness, I bear witness to the word of Yahuwah and the revealing of his judgment. And he has instructed me to tell you in order to be preserved, you have to receive the witness. You have to receive the witness. You have to receive the witness. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be established in this witness. You must believe in the resurrection. You must believe in Yahushua Mashiach. You must believe that his covenant has been established. Excuse me. You must believe this. You must have imunah on this. When he blows the shofar and warns the people. See, the word is the shofar. The word is the shofar. When he blows the shofar and warns the people, whosoever heareth the sounds of the shofar and take not warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. See, you know, Woe is me if I don't declare unto you the need to receive the witness. Woe to me if I don't tell you that you need to receive Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. Woe is me if I tell you that if you are in this awakening, you are the people of Yahuwah, but yet I don't bring you to the quickening that occurs having received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, the word made flesh, having received his witness, having recognized that his, 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 his sacrifice requires my baptism, his sacrifice, his blood requires my cleansing and purging. His, 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 his rising from the dead requires that I receive this witness in order, this Ruach HaKadosh, in order to be made alive and to be risen from the dead. Woe is me if I do not preach this witness. Woe is me as if I don't warn you. Woe is me if I do not declare that this shofar, this word, don't go forth. He said, listen, 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 listen. He said, whosoever heareth the sound of the shofar, whoever hears this word, right? This basura, this Torah of truth, right? Whoever hears this word, right? And takes not warning, right? If the sword comes, right? And takes him away, his blood shall be required at his own head. 
You've heard the word. You who have listened to these YouTubes, you who have listened to this word, if you do not take heed and receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, while this trumpet is being blown, this shofar is sounding, this word, this Torah, this Basura of truth. If you do not take heed to this, then your blood will be required at your own head. There is no deliverance for you. See, now listen, now listen, now listen. Right. In having received this word, in Imunah, and receive the witness and the Ruach HaKadosh, then you are established in him and therefore no weapon formed against you prosper. And if necessary, you will make a way of escape for you from your trouble. He will translate you. He will, he will, he will literally teleport you. He will move you from a situation to preserve his namesake because you are his namesake because you have received the witness of his namesake. He says, if the sword comes, the sword comes, the sword gonna come. This word that Yahuwah has given me to preach is in lieu of the sword coming. Listen, I talked to you not too long ago about how the Ruach HaKadosh is, is transforming you at a molecular level, right? Right? Because you have received the Ruach HaKadosh, he makes you alive. He establishes and corrects any abnormalities attached to you and your DNA. When the time comes, when this world starts to die and fall, you will be preserved because you have the life force of Yahuwah on the inside of you at a cellular, molecular level. You have the Ruach HaKadosh that is strengthening and fortifying you because you have this witness. See, you, you've been warned. You've been warned. Yahuwah has declared to you by this prophet, you have been warned. Been warned. You must receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, bro. You must receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, Gentile. You must receive the Ruach HaKadosh Gentile in order to be preserved. Right? He said, listen, he said, listen. He that heard, he that heard the sound of the shofar and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. You don't take the warning. Yeah, this, 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 this more says to you, you need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You need to be establishing the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach and you don't receive the warning. See, Yahuwah always warns his people. This, this is, is not something that you can take lightly. You cannot take lightly the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood, you cannot take this lightly. You cannot take these steps lightly. You 
can't, you can't excuse them. You can't say that, you know, I got the Torah only. I'm made perfect in the Torah. I told you before, I tell you again, you can't be made perfect without a sacrifice. And you got to have a priest that can take that sacrifice before the Most High. How are you going to accomplish that? And he has to be able to go into the holies of holies to offer an atonement for your sins. How are you going to accomplish this? Yeah, well, you know, Yahuwah says he's going to redeem me for his name's sake. All I have to do is sit back and wait. And keep Torah to the best of my abilities. <laughs> he has namesake is Yahushua Mashiach. Yahushua Mashiach has his name. <laughs> his namesake has become the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. His namesake has replaced the priesthood of Ara and established one and he will not repent that he changed it it is after the order of Melchizedek and it is Yahushua I think you know you gotta understand that there's the need for a sacrifice it has to be a life for a life right in order to restore a people a nation they had to have someone who could step in in and take the place to serve the penalty of the death sentence that was put on you by Adam. That's why it required a second Adam. You gotta understand this. Yusha Mashiach is that second Adam. He is that sacrifice. He is that high priest. He is that Lamb of Yahuwah. Yahuqanon said it. Behold, the Lamb of Yahuwah that taketh away the sins of the world. He is what, he is the fulfillment of what Pesach pointed to. You have to understand this. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be restored to Yahuwah by an act of turning to Torah. And just believing because you know now you the people. Even Josiah, I think Josiah the king, he was a young man. I think it was Josiah. When he learned that the, that there was there was a Torah, when he learned that the books of the law had been violated, he repented and he got rid of everything that wasn't like the most high and he started the sacrifices again. Because he knew that there needed to be because he was told it was read to him you gotta understand you, you know you, you got to deal with the sin issue you Shemashiach became that lamb right he had to die for you just like that lamb had to be slaughtered to cover your sin while Yahushua eliminated, alleviated the consciousness in its totality, completely took it out of the way. Yahushua Mashiach, right? He went to a tree and was nailed to it in order that it be taken out of the way, right? Yahushua, right, went into Sheol where you were. In bondage to death and you were determined to go but he rose having the keys to death and hell he established his dominion in the arrest then he went into the Shamaim as that lamb with the blood to offer in the holies of holies right because you know the tabernacle in the temple made of stone was only a shadow Right? It was not the very image. It was not the original. It's the original, right? Yahushua made it possible 
for you to be restored, to be made alive. And you, all you needed to do was receive the witness and he moved now. All you got to do is believe in the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to receive this life-changing quickening. You have to be made alive with the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be established in this witness. You have to. Otherwise, otherwise, you, you, your, and heard the sound of the shofar, and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. See, I have to tell you this, because he's mandated me to tell you that you need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You need to receive the witness of Yahushua. Hamashiach. Hamashiach has come. You got these Ashkenazis waiting for Mashiach. They're in the dark. They're not in the light. Bro, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahushua has come. He's established his dominion already in the earth. You have to receive the witness. Right? He says, listen. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. See, if you receive this word that I have been giving to you, you will deliver your soul. You will receive the Ruach HaKadosh. And the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of you mixed with the Basor and the Torah of Truth, the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth, the Torah of the Truth, through discipline and meditation, you will deliver your Nefesh. You will deliver your Nefesh. You will not be subject to the fear of death, which held you in bondage. Your nefesh will be free because this witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh, right, which comes with the Ruach of Wisdom and Revelation concerning the knowledge of Yahushua HaMashiach. Right. right? You will deliver. Right? You will deliver your nefesh. See, because your nefesh is no longer going to be subject to the fear of death. Your nefesh is not going to be held in bondage because the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach has set the captive free, right? You who through fear of death were all your life subject to bondage. But Yahushua's made you free. You, 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 you don't have to fear death no more. For me to live is Jamashiach. For me to die is gain. It's win-win. See, because I know that on the other side of this absence of life in this physical house, there yet remains an eternal Yeshua that I will walk into because he's going to change in a moment, in a second, he's going to raise me up. And that which was corruptible will become incorruptible. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that which was sown in dishonor will raise in glory. Listen, 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 listen. But you have to heed the word of the prophet. Yahuwah says to me, he says, listen, but he that takes warning shall deliver his soul. But if that watchman sees the sword come 
and blow not the shofar. And the people be not warned of the sword come and takes away persons from among them. He is taken away in his iniquities, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. See, listen, 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 listen. I don't want to cause anybody to stumble. I don't want to cause anyone to be turned out of the way. I do not want to cause anyone to come up lame. I do not want to be attached to the person who could have been warned, right? because I failed to tell you that you need to receive this witness because you need to receive his Ruach HaKadosh. I do not want to be that one that has to, I do not want to have to be the one, right? To have to bear the blood of that one that would have been warned had I spoken your who was word, you must receive the witness, the Ruach HaKadosh. I don't know. Uh. You said, listen to me. He says, he says, this is what I called you to do. You already know the word that I've given to you. You just need to be consistent and diligent about what I have spoken to you and you need to make sure that you let them know. You gotta receive the witness. You gotta receive the witness. You gonna said you must be born again. Yahushua said you must be born again of the water. And of the Ruach HaKadosh, Yahushua said that, you know, he was going to sprinkle clean water on you. Who? Yahushua said he was going to sprinkle clean water on you. Yahushua said, listen, he who has sent me to sprinkle water on, he who has sent me to do this told me that when he shall appear, the the Lamb of Yahuwah to take away the sin of the world. And I witness his Ruach descending upon him. Right? That that individual, he's going to baptize with you with the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah says, listen, I'm going to sprinkle clean water on you. I'm going to put my Ruach HaKadosh in you. And you shall keep my judgments and, and keep my statutes. Yahushua said, you must be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh. See, I got to warn you, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be established in this witness in order to be his. I don't care what you concoct in your head. I don't care who you listen to. If they're telling you that you do not need to receive this witness, this renewed covenant, this 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 righteousness that is established through Emu Na and Yusha Mashiach, listen. They are going to cause you to be cursed. You better hear the word. You better receive this witness. And listen, 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 listen. We already understand that there's only a remnant is going to be established in this. Only a remnant is going to understand this and ascertain to this. Just only a remnant. Don't you want to be a part of the remnant? Don't you want to be a part of the remnant? Don't you want to have this DNA Ruach HaKadosh altering at a molecule level that will fight off any of this 
this this this malware any of this 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 has has hasatan influenced uh uh a stuff that they're sending out that is designed to attack you in your body at a cellular listen you got to have something you have to have something that will equip you that will establish you and listen before this yeah you were a people that you who had chosen but you were his because he chose you you weren't his because wait a minute. let me track that you were his because as a as a people he made you different yashra and yoda he made you different they know that there's a difference with us even in our melanin they know right he made you different right but in order for you to be able to withstand in this evil day, right? You are going to need supernatural. You're going to need some infusion of some Ruach HaKadosh. And this Ruach HaKadosh is going to have to abide with you forever. Right? Because this Ruach HaKodesh is going to work in your body, in your temple, in your mind. It is going to work supernaturally and synergistically. Yahuwah in Yahusha, the Ruach HaKodesh on the inside of you is going to prevent, prevent this onslaught from occurring in your body. I gotta warn you. Yahuwah said, I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you. I gotta warn you. You gotta understand. Hamashiach is risen. You have to understand. Because he's risen, we have Imunah. We have his Ruach HaKadosh. And in this, we are kept. We have an earnest, we have a guarantee, we have a down payment, we have what we need to get the job done. We have what we need to withstand every attack of the enemy. No weapon formed against you can prosper. Why is that? Because you have Yahushua's Ruach HaKadosh in you. Yes, it's a supernatural thing. It is what takes you from mortality to immortality, right? It is what, though this earthen vessel be destroyed, your supernatural Ruach vessel is still intact. He says, So, son of Adam, I have set you a watch." Unto the house of Yashiro. Therefore, you shall hear the word at my mouth and warn them for me. Come this morning, I'm like praying, and you was a you was a something else that I need to do. Is there anything you, you know, I'm just praying in Ruach and praying with my understanding. And I want to be in the perfect will of Yahuwah doing exactly what he needs me to do during the time and the season he has me here. I do not want to be wasting time doing anything that he deems unnecessary. Anything that's going to work in an opposite direction, an opposite pull. You will just, just help me to know continually. And you who it brings me to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Ezekiel, 
He says, oh, Yaakov Yahuda Gaal, I've set you a watchman unto the house of Yashara. Therefore, you shall hear the word at my mouth and warn them for me. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, this is your warning from Yahuwah. You must receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. You must receive his Ruach HaKadosh. You must be quickened in this witness. You are not going to make it by just recognizing that you're the people. You have to have be you have to have been made alive by the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to be quick in having received the entire witness of Yahushua Mashiach. This is not Christianity. This is not Christianity. This is not that. This is not Jesus. This is not the Lord. Right. Right. Because see, see, there are there's images attached to that whole ideology. There, and, and these images were established in order to cause you to turn away from the true identity of Yahushua Hamashiach and have you worship these these L's and these these images when you himself said you shall have no images or any likeness of anything you know you have these this is not that this is not that he said warn them this is not that This is not that. He says, And when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die if you do not speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways. The wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require. Your hands out. Uh -uh, not me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen, wicked man, wicked Hebrew, wicked Hebrew, who believes that he can be established in Yahuwah because of Yahuwah's namesake, right? You, you wicked Hebrew who, who don't want to receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, wicked Hebrews who don't believe that it requires the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh, wicked Hebrew, wicked Gentile who want to hold on to Christianity, wicked Hebrew that want to hold on to Christianity, these images, these, 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 these hell -of days, these, these wicked rituals, all of you are wicked and I'm here to warn you that you must receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and him crucified, him resurrected, and you must receive his Ruach HaKadosh. You must be born again. This ain't what you've seen in the Christian church. You must be born again. Born of the water. And of the Ruach of the Desh must be born again. You must be born again. I gotta tell you. Because I'm not gonna be the one that Yahuwah says didn't speak up. And then, uh, guess what? His blood is required at your hands. Not, 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 not me. I ain't that one. I ain't the one. No, 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 no. For me to live is Christ, Hamashiach. For me to die is gain. i rather speak a word of righteousness and truth and be stoned than to not speak the word and have the blood of the individual be required at my hands. No, 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 nada, 
No way. Not me. No. See, this Basura must be preached. This Basura must be preached. All right? Everybody's not going to love this, right? They're going to perceive this. It's going to be people right now gnashing their teeth at me. People gnashing their teeth at me. People speaking evil of me because I'm telling them that they need to receive the witness of you, Shabashiach. They're speaking evil against me. It's okay, though. I've warned you. See, this word comes to, to, to quicken and make alive. But it also comes to serve as a judgment, right? Judgment. Because when you don't receive this, you judged. When you don't receive the witness of the water, the blood of the Ruach, just, you judged. Because you've had the word given to you. But you don't receive it. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't act upon it. He said, listen. He said, nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his wicked ways to turn from it, if he do not turn from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but you shall deliver your soul. See, your nefesh is going to be at rest because you have done what Yahuwah has required. You have received this witness. You move in accordance with the Ruach HaKadosh's leading. You obey what Yahuwah says. You're going to speak a word in due season. Ain't no man going to tell you you can't teach, preach, or declare this Besorah because you are following my instructions. I deliver my soul. He says, therefore, O son of Yaakov ben Zion. No, well, Yaakov ben Zion got all. That's my key is for him too. But Yaakov Yahuda got all, right? Speak unto the house of Yasharal. Thus ye speak, saying, if our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them. See, you, 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 you understand. You the people, right? Your sins are upon you, right? And if you continue thinking that you could keep Torah alone, you just pining away in your sins. You just pining away. If you continue. To call you Husha Hamashiach a curse. You still pining away in them. You you you're denying the only true Alua. And his son Yahusha Hamashiach, Yahushua Mashiach said you How shall we then live? How you gonna live, bro? You still pining away? In Torah, how you gonna live? And this living, this life is that which is established in Imunah that comes as a result of receiving the witness of Yusha Mashiach. And it, it comes with a guarantee of eternity, this life, to live. He says, Say unto them, As I live, saith Adonai Yahushua, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his ways and live. Bro, you who don't want you to die in your sins? He don't want you to die pursuing Torah in an unrighteous state. He don't want you to do that. That's why he sent me to tell you, you must receive the witness. That's why he sent me to tell you, you must receive his Ruach HaKadosh. He do not want you to die. Gentiles, he do not want you to die. You must receive the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. You must 
in obedience follow the process. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why, why will ye die? Turn, why will ye die? Let's go into 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. We finished, we left off the 50th verse. Corinthians, this 15th chapter, is understanding the significance of the resurrection of Yahushua Mashiach. It's understanding that if Mashiach be not risen, then bro, go do what you do. Mashiach be not risen, bro. Go do what you do. Matter of fact, don't even worry about the Big Ten. Don't even worry about the other 600. Don't, don't worry about them. Because if Mashiach be not risen, you, know, you might as well continue in your sin. But see, he is risen. Shaul said, listen, we got over 500 witnesses to the resurrection of Yahushua Mashiach. The apostles, the 12 witnessed the resurrection of Yahushua Mashiach. They were seen by him 40 days. They witnessed the resurrection of Yahushua Mashiach. And Shaul said, listen, I seen him. He appeared to me. See, Yahushua is risen. Therefore, eternal life is real. And I have to obey Yahuwah's word. I got to be that watchman to declare his word by the Ruach HaKadosh so that you will understand the necessity of the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You got to understand the necessity of receiving the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You have to know. See, what we're looking to do is is to inherit the incorruptible, right? We 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 looking to 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 overcome this whole consciousness of sin. Having received the witness, we are now uh, uh, free from the influence and the power of death. Death no longer reigns over our mortal bodies. We are not subject to fear. He says. He says. And again, Yahuwah came unto him saying, Yaakov, Yaakov, Yahuda, Gaal, speak unto the children of Israel, say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man in their coast and set him him forth their watchman if when he seizeth the sword come upon the land and blow not the shofar and warn the people then whosoever heareth the sound of the shofar and takes not warning if the sword comes and takes him away the blood shall be upon his head he heard the sound of the shofar and took not warning in his and his blood shall be upon him but if he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul deliver your soul from the fear of death you've taken heed to the warning of you you have received the word that promises eternal life. You recognize it on a molecular level. This witness, this Ruach HaKadosh changes you from the inside out.
Yahuwah's Ruach in you causes you to be supernatural. You no longer become immortal. I mean, you no longer become mortal. You're immortal. He said, listen. 15, 50th verse. Now, this I say. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Elul. Right? Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Right? Listen. Adam and Hava were put out of the garden because of sin and his and its corrupt corruptiveness. This sin nature that they took on right and them having having had this ruach akadesh kind of life taken away right caused them to exist in this corruption right they wanted back into the garden but they couldn't come back in because they were corrupted corruption could not Exist. Listen, when 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 your ruach, ruach left them, they changed. They knew they changed. The ruach kadesh, this life force had the preeminence, the dominance in them. Right. Right. The Ruach HaKadosh moved in them in a way and in a manner which combated everything that could have happened. No, actually, let's, 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 let's take this back. Let's take this back. Let's take this back. The Ruach HaKadosh in them in the garden had them infallible. There was no sickness, there was no disease, there was no sin, there was no violence, there was nothing that was was detrimental to them because they were elves. Right? But they were made after Yahuwah's Ruach was taken. They were made corruptible. See, because when they were created, they were created in the image of Yahuwah, Yahusha, in the Ruach HaKadosh. They were created as elves. But when they when they surrendered their dominion over to Hasatan and the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah left from them, Yahuwah made them corruptible. Corruptible man. Yahusha was a man, right? Born from a woman who was superior genetically, but received the Ruach HaKadosh without measure. After he was baptized in obedience. To what Yahuwah said. He said, you got to be sprinkled with clean water. Yahushua didn't even begin his public ministry until he received the Ruach HaKadosh. Adam and Havah couldn't get back in the garden. They were corruptible. They didn't have you who was Ruach HaKadosh. Point blank, period. Right? The only way to be incorruptible, right, is to change your nature. The only way to change you is to have the blood of you who should commit, cleanse you and your consciousness from sin. And then to have have him baptize you in the Ruach of this. Right. 
so the Ruach can come and dwell with you and be in you. Now, therefore, you have the capacity, right? Because you have incorruptible in you. The flesh has to die off, but the corrupt, incorruptible part of you will live on because you have the witness of you, Shabashina. Listen, neither do it in, neither do corruption inherit in corruption. You can't go into Yahuwah's kingdom without having received his son, the witness, the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood, because they are that which quickens you, makes you alive. It is the down payment. It is the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. It is the Ruach HaKadosh that gives you the capacity to go into the kingdom. You ain't getting in the kingdom any other way. Your blood is going to be on your head. It ain't going to be on my head because I'm warning you. <laughs> you hear the word of you. It's going to be on your head. He said, listen. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall be changed. Right? We shall not all sleep. Now, Shaul slept. Right? Shaul was speaking prophetically. He said, listen, we go all sleep, right? Right? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all changed. Right? We shall not all sleep, but we all gonna experience this change. Some of us are gonna experience this change in a, in a moment, in a second, I pray you who. Right now, listen, for me to live is Hamashiach, for you to die is gain. It's a win-win for me. But listen, you know what? If you who gave me my choice, I would like to be that individual that don't sleep. Not because I fear death, because I fear death. I mean, I'm established in you who is witness. I have the Ruach of death. Death is not an end all for me. But listen, right? To be able to see and to experience that change at the time in which he has appeared. He says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, right? At the last trump, right? Now, it might be a trumpet. Poo, poo, poo. Right? But we know the shofar, right, is a trumpet that warns, right? <laughs> the last trump, right? Listen, right? We going to hear it. We going to know what it is. We going to be changed. <laughs> we who have the Ruach HaGadosh. We who have given heed to the warning. You got to receive the Ruach HaGadosh. You have to receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach in order to live. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to make it in these end times. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to have the witness of Yushu Mashiach in you. He says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trump shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. The dead is going to be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. You know, Shaul was talking as if he was looking for that to happen any day now. And here it's 2,000 years later. 2,000 and... No, just 2,000 years later. 
And yet we, Yahuda, who have been scattered, who Yahuwah Yuh has declared that these bones can live, but they just need to be prophesied to. They need to hear the word of Yahuwah. And because they hear the word of Yahuwah, right, they can come together. Bones can start coming together. Sin, you could start up, start showing up on them. The awakening. Yeah, because in the awakening, we starting to know who we are. Right? But it was not enough just for the bones to come together and to have flesh put over their skins, their sinew, and, uh, and the flesh to cover their faces. It was not enough for that. They still had to have the Ruach HaKadosh, the Numa, the wind, the mighty rushing wind, the same Numa, the same Ruach HaKadosh that filled the temple, where filled the house where the apostles and the, the apostles were on the day of Pentecost. It's the same Ruach HaKadosh that blew in in Cornelius' house, where all the Gentiles were gathered together. It's the same Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, these bones can live. They have the capacity to. They receive the word. And then if they receive the Ruach HaKadosh, yeah, these bones can have life. But they got to be quickened. They got to be made alive by the Numa. They got to be made by, alive by the Ruach HaKadosh. They got to be made alive because they received the witness. They got to be alive because of the namesake of Yahuwah. Yahushua Hamashiach. They got to be made alive. He said, listen. And the dead shall be rise incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortality on immortality. Listen, you have the, the earnest of this on the inside of you. That's what's going to determine whether or not you're quickened in the end. You've been made alive already in Hamashiach. You are seated together in Hamashiach in heavenly places in Hamashiach. But listen, in order for you to metamorph, In order for you to metamorph into the the same image of Yusha Mashiach, <laughs> and just appear like this, you move defying space and time. <laughs> uh, time is a construct of Yusha for the people of the Eretz. Yahushua is not subject to time and space. He can move between dimensions. He can move between dimensions. His life is eternal. He will never see death. And because he's risen, and this witness of the Ruach HaKadosh has been made available unto us, we are risen together with him. You have to understand this witness. You got to understand this Ruach HaKadosh. You got to understand this. Listen, he says, so when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortality shall put on immortality, then shall it then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written death it swallowed up in victory. Yeah, death is swallowed up in victory. See, we have the earnest of this Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of us. But yeah, you know, our body is yet decaying. Paul said, I die daily. Age, time, and chance. My father used to say, happened to us all. Listen. Every day you draw closer to your final day, your decay. 
your mortality, right? But on the inside of us who have received the Ruach HaKadosh, we're alive. We're strengthened. And we're just waiting for the time when death will be swallowed up in the Ruach HaKadosh of life that's on the inside of us, right? That will have dominion over this natural body. It's going to be changed. Listen, 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 listen. He says it this way. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Why? Because Yahushua established his dominion in the arrests and he took the keys of death into hell when he left Sheol and was raised by Yahuwah he had the power death does not have a sting any longer right our soul is delivered we can be free from death. And Yahushua was not just talking about physical death. He was talking about the death that separated man for an eternity. Eternal death. He was speaking of a death that, that would cause all mankind to suffer the death judgment of damnation and eternal separation from Yahuwah Lu. He said, death, where's your sting? I said, Tom, where's your sting? Yeah, you know, they may lose their life, but they will gain it. <laughs> see, that's the, that's the talk of the righteousness that comes through the witness of Yushimashiach. Because see, we recognize that in this witness, having received the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood, that we have been made alive with Hamashiach, right? Hamashiach has the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Because Yahushua is risen, we are risen. Yahushua is seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Yahushua is seated in heavenly places uh, uh, because of what he has done before the Father. And we are seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Listen. Listen, death has no sting on us. Eternal separation from the fellowship of Yahuwah Elua as his people has no sting on us. Yeah, it's appointed unto men once to die. And the judgment, that was because of Adam. And that's going to work until Yahuwah establishes kingdom and put all the enemies of Yahuwah and Yahushua now. So grave. What's your thing? <laughs> Shaul, still in the grave. But Shaul is not under the sting of death. Because <laughs> Shaul is yet alive. In Hamashiach. He's seated. He's established. He says, The sting of death is sin. See, sin consciousness does not have dominion over us because in Yahushua Mashiach's witness, we have been made free from sin. We have been made free from sin. All we need to do is to discipline ourselves in this witness. You don't have to sin. Somebody say, oh, well, we going to sin. No, well, you don't have to sin. You don't have to consciously make an effort to sin. No, you don't have to willfully choose to sin. You don't have to do that. Because in Hamashiach, that consciousness has been removed from you. You shouldn't even have that desire to just willfully sin, right? Right? Now, we know that your body is yet your body. 
We know your mind clear still remembers the things that influenced it. But guess what? You have been you have been given the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, the wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. He is a comforter. He is designed to bring comfort to you. He is designed in you to 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 cause you to understand at any given moment in time what you're doing, whether or not it be pleasing to you or whether it's not. And then he's going to reassure you in the Ruach HaKadosh, right? The Ruach of praying in the Ruach and praying with your understanding and singing in the Ruach and singing with your understanding, right? By you praying, right? Meditating in the word of Yahuwah, right? Why you fasting, right? On the word of Yahuwah, allowing these things to change you, right? To move in you from the inside out, right? These are designed to bring you to a place where you do not have to yield to sin. That's why, you know, in Yahushua Mashiach and in, in, in disciplining ourselves in this witness and the Ruach HaKadosh doing those things that will strengthen us. That's why we, we, don't, we don't continue in sin. Shaul says, should I continue in sin that grace my body? Look, Lord forbid. Why? How? How should we continue doing sin when we have been made alive in the witness of Yusha Mashiach? You know, why am I yielding to my thoughts? My thoughts should be in subjection to the Ruach HaKadosh of truth and the word of truth, the Basur and the Torah of truth. They should be renewing my mind. They should be renewing my mind, right? They should renew my, my mind. Should be, be My mind should be transforming. Mind should be transforming. He said the sting of death is sin. Right? We don't we don't live by sin any longer. Sin is what caused death to reign. Sin is what caused Adam to be made corruptible. Because Adam before sin was not corruptible. No, Adam would have lived forever. In the Ruach HaKadosh, he would have been an L and produced little L's. Ibn Hava would have had a, had a kingdom of living L's. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? They surrendered their dominion over the house of time. And when they surrendered their dominion by acting disobedience, violating the Torah that Yahuwah gave them, they were made corruptible. Adam became corruption. Hava became corruptible. And they wanted back in the garden, but you know that angel with that flaming sword can't come back in here. Not until the time has come. Not until you are established and have received, until man has been established and received the Ruach HaKadosh. You can be sons of Alua again. You can have his Ruach on the inside. And it's going to be a measure at first. It's going to eventually be like it was with Adam and Ava. Even in a, even, even maybe to a greater degree. Right? And the strength of sin is the law. See, because the law can t reveal sin. It reveals what you do wrong. This law said don't commit adultery. And you commit adultery. Adultery becomes sin because the law revealed your act. And your act is a violation of the law. He said, but I thank Elul. Which gives us the victory through Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen. I'm grateful to you. Listen, because of you, this watchman is going to blow this show far. This watchman is going to declare to the house of Yasharal the word that he gives him. 
this watch. Yaakov, Yahuda, God. I'm going to declare what Yahuwah gives me to declare. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak this word in this season. Because it's the Torah. Because I'm the prophet. The Yahuwah is called to speak a word. And I got to stay true to that word. I got to preach this. I don't know how many years. I don't know how long I got. I got to preach this every every opportunity I get. Yesterday, you had told me, said, "Listen, no, 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 not today. I need you to eat something, and then I need you to rest." I obeyed you. I'm not going to disobey. Look, I'm going to do what you would tell me to do. I'm going to do what he tell me to do. He tells me to tell you that you need to receive the witness. I'm going to do this. This message ain't going to change. Everything that he going to give me going to point to this. Because this is the message that he wants to declare to his people. Yasharal and Yehuda. Those who you who has called me to wake up, he said, wake up, Yaakov. The Basora of Truth. We, the people of the book broadcast, is designed, called to wake up Yaakov. Now listen, the word still goes out to the Gentiles and to the other nations. Because it's for them, too, who received this witness. This Cornelius is an example of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they received the witness. Because they received the witness, we give thanks for the victory. That's in Yahushua Mashiach. He said, therefore, my brethren, be steadfast. Listen, I, I got I to stay steadfast in this. I got to remain steadfast. Stay steadfast. I got to remain steadfast, right? Steadfast. Let's see. You know, I'm going to tell you something, right? I truly believe that this blue letter Bible. <laughs> has pumped the brakes on me and my referencing it. <laughs> Listen. <coughs> Listen. It won't even let me use the tools anymore. I can go from page to page. Go page to page. But I can't reference any tools. <laughs> That's amazing. They know what they're doing. It don't matter. Spirit of wisdom and revelation is at work in me. Listen. The spirit of wisdom and revelation is at work in me. I already know, right? Steadfast. That means, in essence, right? To be moving to with a singleness of mind and purpose to that which you have identified as important this witness be steadfast you identify that this important this witness is important you've identified that it's necessary to to stay in line with this witness right unmovable don't let anybody move you off of this witness 
Don't let anyone move you off of the this this information, this tour that you've received by this YouTube. Don't let nobody move you from this, right? Don't let nobody. Always abounding in the work. Always looking to do what Yahuwah has called you to do as his watch. As his more, as his teacher, as his Ema, as his elder, as his Aki, as his Akoti, as his Mora. Always. For as much as ye know that your labor. See, what I do is not in vain. In Yahuwah. I don't know Yahushua. It's not in vain because he told me to do it and I'm going to do it. He said, listen, he says, if he, he says, he says, nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his ways, right, to turn from it, if he do not turn from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. My work ain't in vain because I'm going to do what you who it tells me to do. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's the entire 15th chapter of Corinthians. And that is also Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. And I think we went as far as the 12th verse. Listen, I'm you who is watchman. And the watchman says, you must receive the witness of Yahushua. The water. The blood. The Ruach Hakadosh. To be established. To endure. To the end. Without this. You will not make it till the end. Nada. No. Way. It ain't gonna happen. Because that which is to keep you. You will not receive. You are going to have to receive this witness. You who I pray right now in the name of you. Shemashiach, the words you've given me to give to them that they would keep this word. And this word would make them alive that they would quicken on the inside of them. What it would establish them. The Yahweh, I pray that this word would do all that you have intended for it to do. That it would go out and won't return unto you void. Yahuwah, I thank you because your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. The entrance of thy word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. A young man's ways is cleansed because he takes heed to your Torah. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I give you praise. As your watchman, I have declared your word unto Yashara via this meeting media of YouTube, this media of YouTube and of Facebook. I pray that those who have an ear to hear would take this word, receive this word, would share this word, and that this witness would continue to go forth. Yahuwah, I thank you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's all I have for today. That's all that Yahuwah has me to speak today. I pray that in the name of Yahushua Mashiach that you would receive his word in Imunah and that it would bring life and peace, that it would bring medicine to your flesh. Man of Yah, called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah, called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah, beautifully, wonderfully made today, Yahuwah's favorite. 
go in the favor of you and be established in this witness. Be led by the Ruach HaKadosh because it's life to you. And with that I say, Shalom, 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 and be blessed. The Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.